NDS Sports presents Candlepin Stars and Stripes. Featuring the best Candlepin bowlers from all over New England. And now in our 15th season, your hosts for Candlepin Stars and Strikes, Dick Lutz and Mike Moore. Hello again, everybody, and welcome into another edition of Candlepin Stars and Strikes on WNDS-TV from Lita Lanes in Nashua, New Hampshire, Dick Lutzk with Mike Morin. And today, we begin our sixth and final ladder series with the winner advancing to the Tournament of Champions at the end of the year to join five who've already reached that plateau. And we've got a real treat today. We'll find out who our bowlers are after I tell you who the five bowlers are at the top of the ladder so far. Jackie Ray at 407, followed by Rich Clark, our ladder winner of last week. Don Richmond, Gary Santora, and Steve Plant, they'll all be bowling for that top prize of $1,500 in April and May. And our match this afternoon features our fifth and fourth seeds, the Morgan Brothers from Massachusetts. Let's meet them right now. Number five seed, Tom Morgan from Revere. Tom Morgan in his fourth appearance so far in this current 1998-99 season. Tommy coming in with an average of 129, a high single of 192. Triple 490, his uh, roll-off score was 630, and Tommy's home bowling center is Metro Bowl in Peabody, Massachusetts. And he rolled a roll-off score of 630 for his fifth seed in this ladder series, and he'll be taking on Brother Mike from Lynn, Massachusetts. That's right, it's Morgan versus Morgan once again, ladies and gentlemen. The crowd loves it, half the family is here from the North Shore. Mikey's average at 128, his high single 212, triple 474, and he as well as brother Tom Bowl at Metro Bowl in Peabody. Got a match coming up today you're going to like. And a great crowd on hand at Lita Lanes. Let's get right to it. It's Tom Morgan versus Mike Morgan, our first match of ladder series number six. We're back to Lita Lanes in Nashville right after this. Welcome back to Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. As you look at the uh, seedings for this latter series, Tom Morgan and Mike Morgan this afternoon's match. Third seed, Dan Lasko. Number two, Phil Bergstrom sitting on top of the ladder is Sean Baker. As we get ready to go with this afternoon's match, Tom Morgan versus Mike Morgan. And Tom will be first to bowl at Lita Lanes in Nashville, New Hampshire. Dick Lutzk with Mike Morgan. Happy to have you with us for Candlepin Stars and Strikes on WNDS-TV and a great crowd on hand for this first match of this ladder series. And Tom Morgan starts it out with a pocket shot that leaves three pins standing. Doesn't it always feel like a holiday, Dick, when the Morgans are in the house? They bring the entire family, and Tom picks up a spare to start out. Question is, who do they root for? Can't root for one over the other, obviously. Just root for both to bowl well and let the chips fall where they may. Some great letters came in over the past several weeks from viewers of Candlepin Stars and Strikes. We'll get to as many as we can over the course of the next few weeks. Tom working on a spare. Puts eight in the spare and has an opportunity for two in a row. Caught a nice break there with uh, a lot more wood going down than maybe should have for an off head pin hit. The one and the seven are there with some wood in between. Tom has two marks in a row. He'll be looking at some bonus money to start out in this first string. $50 for three marks in a row. 20 for each succeeding mark. Our triple strike jackpot has $1,100 in it to start out. And Mike Morgan starts out putting it right through the middle, breaking up the spread eagle. The bonus ball contest at the end of the match starts with $40 in the cash jackpot. Mike seated fourth, Tom seated fifth. Mike had a roll-off score of 641, Tom a roll-off score of 630. And Mike will start out with a 9, a 10 box. And he'll take it, thank you very much. An exciting 10 box for Mike Morgan to start out. Couldn't make the spare, but pinned very well. Now Mike looks to match brother Tom who has two marks to start out. Mike with a nine pin drop. All the wood behind. I don't know if that pin is frozen to the two pin. Makes no difference as he takes it head on. Both bowlers start out with marks. Tom with two, Mike with one. Now Tom looking at some bonus money possibilities. Right 
in the pocket. The three and the ten still stand. Did we not have a Morgan versus Morgan match earlier this season, Dick? We did. Tom missed the spare. This was uh, back in late November when Tom Morgan beat his brother Mike for the first time, I believe, in head-to-head -head singles action. And that final score was 374 to 336. Uh, he then went on to be beaten. Mike did. I'm sorry, Tom did the next week by Bob Caleri. So uh, we, neither of these men are seated in the Tournament of Champions so far. We'll know in a couple weeks if that still remains. Tom, after the open, throws a pocket shot but leaves the 7-10 with some wood on the deck. Nice letter sent in by Mrs. Ruth Weeks of Burlington, Massachusetts, who closes her letter by saying she's so glad to thank us for putting the bowling back on TV. May, may you stay there for years to come. Mrs. Weeks, we hope we are here for years to come and that you are watching for those years to come. She sends in an accompanying article as Tom picks up a 10 box. The article from Yankee Magazine which talks about the oldest known bowling ball in, in the New World and most likely used in some type of lawn bowling game that was discovered during the Big Dig in Boston. Get out of here. You mean there's more than rats in that big hole down there in the central artery? Bowling ball. <laughs> Years of research on the ball that was discovered. Excavations in the path of the Big Dig uncovered a strange ball-like object made of oak. It measured four and three quarters inches wide, three and a quarters inches thick the size that easily fits into a person's hand with a small drilled hole in the center of one side. Found in the top layer of a filled privy used before 1715. And it suggests that it might have been used for lawn bowling at the time. Doesn't that, the bowling ball, they have picture look like a bagel? It does. <laughs> Mike with a nine box after putting just three in the spare. Well, we've been uh, very, very fortunate to have uh, lots of you folks sending us little tidbits. A bowling uh, memorabilia that you've had apparently stashed away somewhere the last couple months. We thank you for that. Keep it coming. And a strike for a Mike as you'll watch it again right on the head pin. Both bowlers, both the Morgan brothers are on the head pin through the first four boxes of the first string. We really do appreciate the cards and letters that have been sent in. And Tom matches Mike's strike with one of his own. And the crowd is energized. Watch it again as Tom puts it right on the head pin, right in the 1-3 pocket. His third mark of the first string. Now another spare opportunity for Tom. Tommy warming up, doing some uh, back stretches and some deep knee bends before we started. So he's considering taking his chiropractor along with him for future and television there's appearances. The spare. A 74 half for Tom Morgan. And working on a spare to start the second half. Now Mike Morgan, who is working on a strike of his own in the fourth frame. Mike's on the head pin. Can he break up the split? Yes, he can. Well, whichever Morgan does not go on to win today to face Dan Lasko next week, the other will certainly be in the audience cheering the other on. It truly is a brother act. Mike's not happy with the way the wood is no. out in front. He'll just take a shot and pick up the spare. Hit the wood on the nose perfectly. And picked up the spare. Two marks in a row for Mike. He's working on the possibility of some bonus money and a big first string as well. Mike's on the head pin. Again, trying to break up the split. Cannot do it. Puts seven in the spare. A 69 first half for Mike Morgan. A 74 first half for Tom Morgan. Tough shot here for Mike. He yeah. played the wood and made the spare. $50 in bonus money for Mike Morgan.